Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. The group expert is useful for creating multiple groupings on the fields within a report and setting all of the necessary properties while you are performing that task. It is also useful to note that you can create a single data grouping within a report by simply clicking the Insert Group button in the Insert Toolbar or by simply choosing Insert and then the Group command from the menu bar. This will launch the Insert Group dialog box which presents us with the same grouping options that we saw in the Change Group Options dialog box. You can use the tabs available here to set the grouping options that you wish to apply on the selected field and then just click OK to set the new grouping in the report if desired. But you can also edit and delete groupings that you've created in the design view if you prefer to not use the group expert for some reason. You can edit a grouping that's been created by simply right clicking on the name of the group header or group footer that you wish to edit or delete. From the pop-up menu which appears you can choose the change group command. That will relaunch the Change Group Options dialog box where you can make any editing changes as needed and then simply click OK to apply them. If you choose the Delete Group command, the grouping will be removed from the report. Also, if you have multiple groupings applied, you can easily reorder the groups by simply clicking and dragging the group header or group footer of the group which you wish to move and releasing it in the desired position within the group headers and footers listed at the left side of the report. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.